Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to FVD Elements. And in this episode, by a special request from Great Adventure Fan, we are doing a Sea Serpent roll. Uh, he specifically asked for the Sea Serpent roll from uh, Medusa at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Uh, the first one I did, I just tried to do a basic one from uh, Express at Wallaby Holland because uh, one of the subs my subscribers, Travis, told me that uh, the one on uh, Medusa at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom was a little bit difficult just because it had a weird kink in it. So I started looking at pictures of it and indeed it did have a weird kink in it. So I decided to just do this basic one here uh, just to get the uh, sort of flow down of it and then I would try to do that. So here you can see is the basic sea serpent roll. This wasn't too difficult to do once I figured out what was going on. And in fact, I did discover as I was doing it that uh, I found a really easy way to do a cobra roll, so I might show that in a subsequent tutorial. But here's the graph for it, as you can see, it's very symmetrical as you would expect. This looks pretty good, I would say, uh, I'm pretty pleased with this, particularly you can see from the shadow, you can see what it looks like from the sort of top, and that definitely looks like what a sea serpent roll would look like. The graph itself is pretty basic, uh, you just start with uh, going up into around uh, 0 to 1G towards the top of the inversion roll, come up out of that and then go back down to positives right here and you want that so it sort of goes back up. Otherwise, if you keep it level, it'll sort of spiral down this way. Uh, and then you can also, what I did here was to use a uh, cubic uh, function for the two ends of this and then I use tension to just sort of get this shape here that I like. You can also use a plateau graph for this. I, originally when I did this I used a plateau for both of these. It worked alright but what I discovered was I needed to sort of decrease the roll here in this section so that I had it going where I wanted it to go. And then ultimately you just sort of do the same thing in reverse and you get the C serpent roll. It was fairly easy, it took me a few tries. Uh, you'll see here that I did several versions before I got the final. And if I show some of those, you see they start out pretty ugly. Uh, that was just me like trying to do something. Uh, and they get better and better as I go along and then ultimately I get the version that I'm most pleased with, which is the final. So having accomplished that, I decided to do the B&M one to see what I could do about that. So let's go in and take a look at that. I moved it over here. So there is indeed a kink in this roll uh, uh, on Six Flags Medusa, or Six Flags Medusa, on <laughs> Medusa at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. There is indeed a kink, and I believe probably the reason they did that is because they were trying to move it over, they were trying to get it a little farther over so that it could get up into the uh, break run section where they wanted it, and that immediately follows that. Of course, that's just supposition on my part. I don't have Walter and Claude on speed dial, so I'm not 100% certain, but it does look like that. Them does some weird stuff like that sometimes anyway but if we take a ride on this this one wasn't too difficult to achieve I did a few versions of it as well let me just start back at the beginning uh, this one is okay I would say so you can see here it sort of flattens out and then it turns and starts turning again this one is okay I would say it's not hundred percent perfect I could probably do better uh, but uh, for great adventure fan this is the basics of it you can play around with it I think to try to get what you're looking for uh, the only real change I did here was I did a lot more of flattening this out I flattened this part out not so much here because what I saw when I was looking at the videos was that it sort of stops rolling or decreases rolling quite a bit around this area and it sort of goes almost straight and then it, it rolls up again really quickly. So I got that basic feel with this graph. You see I just sort of played around with it a little bit but it's very similar to the other one. So this should help you out. You can give that a try. Let me know what you think. Um, but uh, if you need more help with it, Great Adventure Fan, just let me know and we'll see what we can do. So up next on the series, we will have a wing over. As I've said, we've also got the Mako Stengel Dive coming up. Uh, of course, if anyone has a, uh, a request or anything like that, just let me know. I'm always happy to uh, fulfill a request. As always, I will put a link to this video in the description, so that, or a link to this FVD file rather in the description so that you can download that. But this is gonna, or that's gonna be it for this episode. I will talk to you next time. Take care and enjoy the ride.